you know, women's ultimate goal is to have control. So if their ultimate goal is to have control, why would they want or be attracted to a mentally strong man? Of, I mean, like a real reasonable man, good person, but just mentally strong. If they want control, they, they wouldn't want a man that's mentally strong and wise. I mean, extremely wise or have an IQ, would he? You would think so, so he can pass it down to the kids or something, but that's not what they want. That's not what they're grabbing. That's not what they're looking for, unless it's for some of them now. You have exceptions, but for the most part, how can I make him weak? Is he weak because of my beauty? Is he weak because of my sex? The point is to break you down, to get you comfortable, because once they, some of them don't have forever on their mind. A lot of them don't. But some of them do, but they know they're gonna do stuff on the side. It's a lot of rich, it's a lot of rich people that get together and just cheat forever. Both of them cheat. And they just have kids and family and stuff throughout the whole thing. But nobody never find out that the other person cheating. Um, but some people just, uh, they have temporal on their mind. I'll get this guy money. I don't like him because I can't control him, but I'll, he got the money, I'll take, I'll play. I play nice and act submissive until I get, uh, you know, get them comfortable enough to start having sex with me without a condom. Get the baby, take the money that I get from that, the child support or alimony, whatever, and get, and get me a guy that I can control and use that money to fund the guy that I can control. Like a Pookie or Ray Ray. But if he cheat, I, I kicks him out. I kick him out on the streets, you know. Half of the time, the baby is Pookie and Ray Ray baby before she even leave Pookie and Ray Ray. She done got a, a well-established, quote-unquote, success, financially successful husband, but she been dealing with Pookie and Ray Ray. He might work for trash man or something or cut her grass or something. Come on in, want some tea? Can you give me a massage? I'm aching right here. Ooh, that feel good. Can you grab here too then? Pookie and Ray Ray grabbing it, boom, he grabbed that, he grabbed that, he grabbed that. Next thing you know, she's, she's showing signs that she want him to bang, bang, bang. Then he bang, bang, bang. And that's how you get it. It starts off just like that. I know. It don't take much. I don't want saying you can't trust nobody, but you can't trust most people. The Bible says it's hard to find a wife. There's not that many on the planet. So it's a high chance that your wife or girlfriend is cheating on you with somebody at her job. Somebody on her um, Instagram or somebody, one of her personal trainers, at her, somebody at her gym. It don't even have to be a personal trainer, but a gym. And by you knowing her routine, I'm going to the gym, and she'll use that time, that, that window that she usually be at the gym, she'll use that time, but she only take five, 10 minutes to cheat. It don't take long for a man to go in and Bust a bang boom, bust a nutter ball, bust a nutty buddy, nutty buddy. You understand what I'm saying? So it's all about control with most of them. It's all about control. That's what all this thing about having control. I'm Alan Rillionaire. Google me. Follow me on Instagram. All my Instagram pages. Press like and subscribe right here. Holler at me in the comment section. I appreciate all my supporters and my clients throughout the throughout the time I've been out here helping, talking, whatever. But um, don't forget to get saved. Find a Bible-based church. Or if you ain't got a church near you, go on YouTube, holler at T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen, or somebody. All right? In the meantime, in between time, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Hit me up in the comment section, press like, and we're going to talk.